Hello everyone and welcome back. It's that time again. I can't actually believe we've got here so quickly. It literally feels like a few weeks ago that I sat here and revealed the Flossy by Freddy spring collection to you guys. But as you know, we are kind of accelerating things this year. Last year we had two collections, a spring, summer, an autumn, winter, and this year we're going to have a spring, summer, and an autumn, and a winter. So four collections. And I can't believe how quickly summer has come around and I can finally reveal these dresses to you. So this is like a fun fact. I actually um, have had these dresses under my belt for probably a year and a half. Originally, I actually wanted to launch these dresses last year, but there was so much that went into the launching of the brand. So many things, just like the branding, the packaging, the swing tags, the labels, all of like the really small details that I kind of underestimated. I was such a perfectionist and kept on revising them. So it actually pushed the launch back by like probably about eight weeks, meaning we didn't launch until the 30th of June. Um, so it is coming up to our first birthday soon, uh, which meant that I couldn't really do a summer collection because the spring kind of became spring summer but I was like it's fine we'll just save them until next year and the lovely thing is I still love these dresses just as much as I did a year and a half ago which I think proves how classic and timeless these dresses are because even some of my like very early like concept mood boards for flossy like I pulled examples of things that I liked um I look back now and I'm like no no we're not doing that so if any of you watched my vlog from last week or follow me on Instagram you will have already seen the collection but as always we're going to talk about it in depth today I'll try them on talk about the fit and also like the process of creating them so without further ado I would like to introduce you to the Angelina collection <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about the collection. I'm sure lots of you are wondering what does Angelina mean? Who is Angelina? So Angelina is a demonym and a demonym is a word that I learned recently that describes a person who lives in or is native to a certain place. So Londoner, Parisian, New Yorker, and Angelina is the demonym for Los Angeles. So Los Angeles is obviously Spanish, it translates to the angels, and Angelina is the feminine version of the demonym Angelino. And I thought it was the perfect name because so far in all of the collections, the collection name kind of describes the girl who wears the dresses or who you become when you wear the dresses. So we became queen bees in autumn, debutantes in spring, and now Angelinas for summer. And as you guys know, when I started at the brand I had this vision that all of the collections would be inspired by something I'm passionate about something I love um, or just something that I'm inspired by and of course we had Gossip Girl for autumn winter Bridgerton for spring and now we have LA for summer you guys know how much I love LA I've spent quite a lot of time there and I just always feel so at home when I go there it's really really weird because I feel like on paper LA is not really my kind of place like I'm a London girl I'm a city London Paris New York girl and LA is very different if you've ever been um, or you live there then you'll know but I just love it so much and I've always felt very like spiritually settled there um, which is a really weird feeling and I think it may be because I was very nearly like born there slash brought up there my parents lived there my dad lived there for a long time like around the time that I was um, my mum was pregnant. And I do sometimes wonder if there's like an alternate reality or alternate universe in which there is a little American Freddy who was born and brought up in LA. And that's why I feel very, very happy there. So I've just been so excited to do this LA collection. And you may have noticed that I purposefully left out Hollywood um, because I just feel like Hollywood is its own thing. It's its own theme, it's its own collection later down the line maybe. Another reason why I've been so excited to reveal this collection to you is because I feel like these three dresses are definitely my most casual wearable dresses so far. Of course, the heart and the main ethos of the brand is the main character energy, the lost art of dressing up. But I also do understand that there's a lot of people who in their day-to-day -day lives don't feel like they can wear, you know, the Daphne dress or the Cornelia set or the Coco dress, which is why I desperately wanted to create a collection of dresses that will still be fun, feminine and flossy, but will be a little bit more wearable for the everyday and dresses that people can still feel really, really comfortable in. So guys, this is Flossie's version of casual. This is about as casual as I think you'll get from me. <laughs> but I'm just so proud of them and I really hope that you guys love them as much as I do. So let's start with the first dress. <music> 
So I'm going to start with my favorite. Well, actually, I think my favorite is very much tied between two, but this is definitely one of them. This is my gorgeous Vivian dress. I'm sure you've already figured it out, but this dress is inspired by the Pretty Woman Rodeo Drive dress, the scene where Julia Roberts, Vivian, is shopping on Rodeo Drive. She previously got shunned by the really rude sales assistants, and she goes back with Richard Gere's credit card and delivers the iconic line, you rock on commission, right? Big mistake big, huge. <laughs> I have always been obsessed with that dress and just her entire look in the scene. And a few years ago, I had a Zara dress that came kind of close to the Pretty Woman dress, but it just wasn't my perfect dress. And I ended up getting rid of it because I just wasn't keen on like how it fitted on me. It wasn't very comfortable, fabric length, skirt, sleeves, buttons, etc. And I knew that one day I would have to create my own perfect version of the Pretty Woman Rodeo Drive dress. And this is it. So as you can see, it really is the most classic, simple, timeless design. It's made from the most gorgeous fabric. It's a 100% cotton twill. Um, so it kind of feels a little bit in between like a soft cotton and a denim. So it's a lot, lot softer um, and suppler than denim, which I find really uncomfortable to wear, but it's a lot stiffer and holds a shape much better than like a traditional cotton that you'd be used to. It just feels very, very luxurious. And I'm 100% certain that you guys will love the fabric. The whole thing is lined from top to bottom which gives it a really sumptuous feel. This is not a thin, flimsy dress. You can really feel the quality, which is lovely. It's got this beautiful lifted round neckline, which is just very classic and flattering. These fabulous tortoiseshell buttons. And I just love tortoiseshell. You can match it to your sunglasses. And I just think it's so classy. Um, and then I think my favorite feature of this dress has to be the sleeves. They definitely have a little bit of shape and structure, as you can see, but they're not puff sleeves. They just feel a lot more elegant elegant and understated than a puff sleeve. Not that I'm, you know, talking about about puff sleeves, you know, they're my favorite, clearly. <laughs> but these are just so much more understated and classic. They are fitted around the arm, but we have taken lots of previous feedback from you guys um, on the arm circumference because lots of you were struggling with, I think, the Daphne dress, like being a little bit too tight on the arms. So we've definitely taken that feedback into consideration and made the circumference a little bit wider. And as you can see, the sleeves have this really beautiful, like open pleat on the side, which I think is just such an adorable little detail. Again, it's really subtle. It's not a statement sleeve, but it's definitely a feature sleeve, which I love. And then fit wise, this again is a really beautiful classic skater skirt. So it's gonna be really nice and fitted, flattering around the waist and then nice and loose around the bottom half. And my other favorite thing about this dress is how the skirt like actually sticks out. It's just the way that it's sewn. It doesn't stick out like a tutu. So it's not like really OTT or um, showy, but it definitely doesn't hang it kind of sits and creates this really beautiful feminine fun shape that I'm just obsessed with it's just everything I love in a dress it's so comfortable to wear and um, it also is a really beautiful length of course it's a mini um, but I think where it sits on like my leg is a very elegant length and I just think it's the perfect everyday dress it has a casual yet very elevated feel it looks very luxurious, it fits beautifully. It's the kind of dress that stands out without looking like it's really, really trying to, if that makes sense. Size-wise, I would say just stick to your usual. I wear a small, which is equivalent to a UK eight to 10. And as usual with my dresses, I think the most important measurement to take into consideration if you're gonna check our size chart on this dress would be, of course, the waist, because that is the most fitted point of the dress. And another big plus of this dress is, I think it's like one of the first ones that we have said is okay to put in the washing machine, all the dresses. I think all of them previously have been dry clean only, but this is cotton, so it's fine to do a cool wash at 30 degrees, which I'm sure will make lots of you very happy because I know dry cleaning is a pain. I do think that when you've invested in a dress, you need to invest in its care as well. And um, that's what I tell myself when I have endless dry cleaning bills. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section on the Vivian dress. I think this could be just one of my favorite flossy dresses ever, which I know I say all the time, but it's just so, so beautiful and so easy to wear. You can get so much wear out of this. You can dress it up with a little pair of heels, sandals. You can dress it down with boots or ballet flats. Go for the whole pretty woman vibe with a hat, little shoulder bag, or go for a clutch or a proper handbag. You can just wear this so many ways. And I think it is just a must have to tell you the truth. <laughs> Now,
Next up, we have the Malibu dress. And I have to tell you guys that this dress is consistently the favorite among people I show, friends, family, the Flossy team. Um, everyone loves the Malibu dress. And I think it's because this is such a classic, timeless, like wearable style. It's the flossy take on a shirt dress. I'm sure if any of you guys have been watching me for a long time and have sat through my endless hauls, you will know that I have tried on so many shirt dresses because I love the idea of a shirt dress, but I'm never ever satisfied with them because I always feel like, like the collar's a little bit too masculine, you know, the sleeves, the cuffs are a little bit too officey. Like I always find fault with them and I don't think I've ever actually kept one. So I thought that the LA collection would be the perfect opportunity to create my very own perfect flossified shirt dress. And so we have the Malibu dress and the Malibu dress is supposed to very much give you that feeling of going out on a boat trip on a hot sunny day, swimming in the sea, hopping out of the sea back onto the boat and throwing on a shirt over your bikini. Big hat, sunglasses, glamour. It's giving Malibu Pier boat trip beach club vibes in a very elegant, elevated, feminine way. And honestly guys, it's just to die for, if I do say so myself. So there are actually a lot of design elements to this dress and out of all three, this definitely took the most work um, because I just felt like I couldn't get it quite right until the very end. So the dress basically without the belt, it kind of hangs really, really wide. There's a lot of fabric. So when you just like put it on without the belt, it kind of looks a little bit like a big tent. And then when you use the belt to cinch in around your waist, you basically end up gathering all of that fabric and creating these beautiful pleats. And the shape that it creates when you do that is just divine. There is so much volume and structure. And again, it's very like effortlessly stand out. The hem is also very, very subtly imbalanced. Um, so it's a little bit longer at the sides than the front and back, which again, just creates a really, really beautiful silhouette that's a little bit different. The sleeves are nice and loose and airy with an elasticated cuff. And the belt is very, very wide, which means you can create a beautiful big bow if you want to, or if you want something a little bit more subtle, you can actually just fold the belt in half. Or the way that I like to wear the belt is to fold it in half and tie it around the waist so it's nice and slim at the back, tie the bow, and then once the bow is tied, you kind of unfold the belt to create like a big bow and then unfold it at the bottom as well. So it's slim around the back, but the bow is big. We then of course have the beautiful, dainty little gold and pearl buttons, which I think is such a gorgeous touch. It's not something that you would typically see on a shirt dress, but it is of course like the flossy flare. We absolutely have to have pearls in every collection. It's the flossy law. And they button all the way up to this really gorgeous high neck with a layered like pie crust frill collar, which I just love. I think it's so girly and sweet, but again, it's subtle. It's not too much, it's not OTT. And then the very same double layered frill is on the hem of the dress as well, which is something that we added at the very last minute. There was just like something missing. Everything else um, was the same. And I was looking at it just like, it's just not right, it's just not perfect. And then we came up with the idea of mirroring the frill on the collar um, to the hem and it just, it was exactly what the dress needed. This dress is also 100% cotton, outer and lining. It is lined from top to bottom, giving it that super luxurious, sumptuous feel. Also means that it's not see-through at all, but because it's cotton, it's still nice and breathable for summer. Size-wise for this dress, I would say that if you do feel you're in between sizes, you can definitely afford to size up with this dress. And I'd actually recommend it because you can obviously control how fitted this dress is with the belt. And actually, the bigger the size you get, naturally the more fabric there will be, the more there is to work with to create all of that shape and all of those pleats. So again, please do let me know your thoughts on the Malibu dress. It really is so stunning. And I think this is so versatile. You can wear it like this. You can wear any belt you like with it. So if you have a belt that you love wearing, maybe in like a brown or a tan or black or like whatever your style is, you can really make this dress your own. And I also love how you can wear this dress just without the belt and have it undone and have it as that throw on beach dress, which is kind of what it was intended to be. So there are lots of ways to wear it. And I just love how it is a very casual, everyday yet elevated dress. Um, and yeah, the flossy take on the classic shirt dress. 
And now for the final dress, although this is a casual wearable collection, there of course had to be a showstopper. So please give a warm welcome to the Beverly dress. I can't. I think you can probably guess um, what this dress was inspired by. It is of course the iconic Beverly Hills Hotel. I have always been obsessed with the Beverly Hills Hotel. I've referenced it so much in my own interiors. This lounge, um, I've gone for like pink and white with dark green palm tree leaf um, upholstery, my chairs, my cushions, also my plants as well. I'm also planning on decorating my second bathroom in a Beverly Hills Hotel style. And it's always been my dream to have a Beverly Hills Hotel inspired dress. So of course I just made it. <laughs> and this is the perfect dress. I'm just gonna say it, it's perfect. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous. I had this vision um, of the two prints, the two patterns going together in a dress um, and how I wanted it to look. And like we drew it up, we got this um, design hand drawn. This is a completely new custom design for Flossie. But because it was a completely custom um, fabric, we had to wait until like the third sample to actually see it in its real fabric. So the samples previously, I'll try and put some photos on. One was in like a weird, like navy and mustard. The second one was just all black. And that's just so we could work on the fit and the design. And it wasn't until like the third sample where I actually saw it in the fabric. And I was so nervous. I was like, please, God, please let it work. And when I saw it, I screamed because it was just everything, as you can see. <laughs> so as we went quite bold on the prints, I wanted to make sure we went really classic and simple um, on the silhouette. So as you can see, we've just got this really lovely, simple, strappy top half with the gorgeous sweetheart neckline in a cinched bust, which just creates the most feminine, sweet shape. It's kind of flirtatious yet demure, which I absolutely love. The dress comes in at the waist, creating that beautiful shape on your body, also accentuated by this amazing belt. The belt has this beautiful shiny gold hardware, the buckle and the loop, so it's very glamorous. It is detachable if you want to wear it without the belt or add your own belt, and my favorite thing about the belts is we added this little adjustable belt loop. So depending on how tight you fastened your belt, you can actually move this belt loop along so you're never left with a flappy strap. I'm honestly constantly just shocked and annoyed at how many brands leave you with a flappy belt and they don't show it in the picture on the website ever. They'll always pin it for the photos so that it looks really seamless um, from the front in the photo, but then when you actually wear it, you've just got this flapping belt that you have to try and do something with, like tuck in or even sometimes add a popper. It drives me insane. So I was very um, conscious that we had to avoid that. And then the skirt is so beautiful, so full. The way that it's sewn in at the waist just means it creates these really lovely, like natural soft pleats and you can swish around in it, you can twirl. This one is also fully lined, of course, um, giving it that lovely full feeling um, and making sure that it's not see-through. The fabric on this dress is actually a cotton and lyocell blend because we wanted it to just feel really soft and kind of be a bit more flowy than the other dresses. It still has structure, but you can really swish it about. It's lovely and soft to the touch and it barely creases, which is amazing. And guys, I'm just obsessed with this dress. This is one of my like all time dream dresses. And I know you're probably thinking that the patterns are quite bold, quite out there, but you You'd honestly be surprised at how easy this is to wear. It really doesn't look OTT. It just looks fun. It's no different to wearing like a floral dress. It's just something a little bit different to what we usually see. And when I was shooting this in Beverly Hills and I also wore it around Bermuda to get some shots like for social media, so many people came up to me and were like, oh my God, that dress is amazing. Everyone wanted to know where this dress was from because they'd never seen anything like it before. It's so fun and unique and girly, but it is easy to wear because the silhouette is so classic and simple. So they really, really balance each other out. You know that amazing summer feeling when you put on your really, really cute dress and your sandals and your little bag and your sunglasses and you just feel adorable. That's what this dress does for me. Like they all obviously make you feel amazing. But for me, this one is the one that I feel the most like fun and cute and special in. And it gives me that amazing summer feeling. And I just, I can't wait to actually wear it now that I've 
launched it. <laughs> so of course, please do let me know your thoughts on the Beverly dress and all the dresses. Which is your favorite in the collection? Are you going to be treating yourself to any today? If you have any questions, um, leave them down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I'm not 100% sure what time I'm going to upload this video. It will either be just before we launch or as we launch. So just check the website to see if we're up yet. So yes, that's the collection. Do you love them? Please tell me you love them. <laughs> please, please, if you're not already, do come and follow Flossy by Freddy on Instagram. It really is important as you know for a new business to have a good presence on social media um, and I just really appreciate all of your support honestly this brand is coming up to one year old um, and it's just been a dream come true every time I see my tagged photos and I see you in my dresses like it's just the most surreal wonderful special feeling and I just do not take that for granted I'm just so so grateful for all of your amazing support so as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.